Limbo. Probably one of the most underused, overpowered, multi-purpose warframes of all time, and one of my personal favorite frames. Now, Limbo gets a bad rep, and honestly, I understand where it comes from, and I also have to agree with it. Most introductions that people get to Limbo are either new players who don't understand the frame and therefore misusing it, making it harder for other players to actually play the game, or new players that meet a Limbo in a mission and don't understand how it works and then simply get upset. Limbo has come far from the days where he would just stop bullets in general, and since then, while the fun of that gimmick may still have been taken away, Limbo has become an unsung hero of Warframe. But still, in 2021, only 0.93% of players mastered Limbo Prime and only 66% of players mastered Normal Limbo. To understand Limbo, you have to understand the Rift. Now, think of the Rift as a different plane of existence which is contained within itself. Anything in the Rift cannot interact with anything outside of it, and likewise, Anything outside of the rift cannot interact with anything inside it. So let's take a look at Limbo's passive first. Limbo's passive is that whenever you dodge, you enter or exit the rift. This leaves behind a rift portal which lasts for 5 seconds which other players can also use to enter the rift. While in the rift, players will gain energy and also any enemy killed in the rift gives 10 energy. The first ability on Limbo, Banish, forces the target into or out of the rift, depending on the state of the target before the Banish. This target can be a player, an enemy, or even the annoying defense targets that you have to follow around to protect, which this ability in particular is useful for. Do take note that if you are a player that got put into the rift, either by banishment or walking through the portal, that you can dodge and it will take you out of the rift. Now we are going to skip to the fourth ability, Cataclysm. Cataclysm is basically a bubble banish and everything inside the bubble is forced into the rift regardless of the initial state of the target before. Technically, at low levels, this ability can be used as a nuke, but only at very low levels, as it does very little damage, and honestly, are just better picking off a nuke frame. The second ability, Stasis, will freeze enemy, any enemies inside of the rift, which applies to the first and the fourth ability. The third ability, Rift Surge, is one of the harder abilities to understand that also gets overlooked a lot of the time and it is also one of the abilities that frustrates other players the most. It works much like Saren's first ability where it spreads from enemy to enemy to enemy. Basically, when an enemy is killed that also has Rift Surge applied to it, it will transfer that Rift Surge to another target that is not currently in the Rift. Also, enemies that leave the Rift Surge perform an, a banish to other targets in the vicinity pushing them into the rift. Now, I know that was a lot, but let's put this all together. To effectively use Limbo, especially in high level missions, you will want to be in the rift as much as possible, especially when casting abilities. Casting Cataclysm and then getting Stasis will get you killed. Rather, you will want to dodge into the rift first, cast Stasis, and then use Rift Surge. This will ensure that you are always protected. I would also advise refreshing stasis near the end of the ability duration rather than letting it end, as just double tapping the ability leaves a very short time in between for the enemies to move, and if you do it right, you should take no damage. But what does his Rift Surge add to this? I never really have used Rift Surge for its actual intent of banishing enemies and then killing as you go along as they get transferred into the Rift, but what is very useful and what I do a lot is while enemies are in the bubble, you can cast Rift Surge on them. You don't even have to be looking at them, but what this will do is it will transfer the Rift Surge to all of the enemies inside the bubble. What this allows you to do 
is you can refresh your bubble all while keeping stasis active and the enemies in the rift and not moving. It's worth noting that when you use Rift Surge, it will also use make use of Banish as well, meaning you are using all the abilities of Limbo at once. However, there are other things that you need to know about Limbo, or rather, the Rift. The Operator can never be in the Rift. This can be used to interact with things such as conduits, hacking consoles, containers, lockers, or even enemies outside of the bubble. Technically, you can stand outside of the bubble and kill enemies on the other side of the bubble that are also outside of it. It is also worth noting that at the same time, things like coil drives, like the ones on the defense missions in the orb ballast, do not go into the rift, and therefore can be damaged by things like the ships or enemies outside of the bubble firing in at the target. Rift Surge also has an augment mod, Rift Torrent, which gives an extra 30% damage buff to enemies currently affected by Rift Surge. So you can use Stasis to freeze everyone, place down your bubble, use Rift Surge, and then boom, 30% more damage to all enemies inside the bubble. Also, after the Eximus rework that happened a while back, Eximus enemies can ignore Stasis and just move through the bubble like it's not there. So using this kit and your knowledge, Limbo can be used for basically anything in the game. It might not be the best, but at least in my opinion, it is a very good tool for everything. Something else that can be incredibly overpowered is that Limbo can walk through Corpus lasers or the Grenier lasers without taking damage. But what does this actually give us though? Well. While it is nice to be not knocked over during mid-mission, this can actually play a big part in spy missions. Cataclysm can be used to destroy all the cameras, and then you can enter the rift to pass through the lasers, not triggering them. Additionally, if you subsume Avara, you can spam her quiver, quite literally allowing you to walk through spy missions. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Console is nearby.